morning everybody so in this video we will discuss one more question on structure which they have already asked in previous paper that is in uh, paper may 2013 paper for 10 marks let us read the question carefully we have to write a c program to create array of structure to store the details of almost 100 employees and what are the details that we have to consider first one is name id and salary then we have to sort uh, all the details according to id okay so let's begin with program directly here remember parameters that we have to consider are name id and salary okay so let us begin with program So here define a structure with name employee struct tmpl so the first parameter that we have to consider is the name of the employee for that will require character array then salary then i think id and then salary salary close this so how many employees we have to consider we have to consider around 100 employees so for simplicity here we will just reduce its size to 3 in the program they have asked for 100 so instead of 3 while writing program in the final answer paper write their size as 100 but for practical purpose here I am reducing size it to 3 ok now we have to store name id and salary of three employees in a structure so for that we will require one for loop and in for loop we will require one variable so i'm defining that variable here then clear screen okay and so initially we have to store all the details so how to write for for i is equal to zero i less than three i plus plus Okay, so this for loop is for scoring details. Now you can give comment here for this to store details of employees. So initially we have to take name, then ID and then salary. So I print up here ask for the name of the first employee. How to display message? Enter name of first so in general person employee so here we can give slash n and percent value will take it from i plus one after this user will enter name we have to store this so for storing scan and function we have to store name name is of type string so for that specifically is percent s and at which location we have to store name of first employee and e of i dot en this is about name now we have to store id so print a display message enter id of percent d employee we will take its value from i plus then so you after getting this message user will enter id you have to store this for that scanner type of id is integer so that's why format specifier is percent d comma and e of i dot that which location we have to store dot id and finally we have to take salary so print a display message enter salary of percent d employee percent d again we will take it from i plus 1 after getting this message user will enter salary we have to store this so scan a function type of salary is integer so format specifier is percent d 
and we are going to store this at and your i but this variable so this is all about accepting details let us test this program we are initially queue get ch and verify whether your program is working fine or not so compile this zero error okay. asking for name of first employee again suppose amit id is suppose 101 and salary is 2000 and name of second employee was moon then id is suppose 100 and then uh, salary is suppose 1000 and name of third employee is manu then id is 104 2500 so it's accepting all the details now then after that we have not mention anything so now see according to question after scoring all the details now we have to sort all the details according to their id means if we enter uh, id randomly then while display it has to display all the details of the employee in ascending order of their id so see this for loop we use for storing details now while display we have to sort it according to id and then we have to display so here we have to write sorting logic so suppose id of first employee is uh, 101 and then id of next employee is 100 then while display it has to display details of employee whose id is 100 first and then 101 second so we have to compare id so how to compare for that here we have to write nested for so we will use one more for so in that for we will use another variable j so here see for comparing the details we have to uh, for sorting the details we have to use nested for this type of uh, logic we have already used in array program we have already discussed sorting array ascending order sorting array in descending order and so on the so same logic we have to use here so if we want to sort then we have to use nested for where outer for we have to write like this i is equal to 0 i is less than how many records are there three records and then i plus plus this will be outer for and see initially previous id we have to compare with next id okay so that next id uh, getting that next id we have to mention here inner for so j is equal to 0 j is less than 3 instead of 0 here we have to write j is equal to r plus 1 then j is less than 3 and then j plus plus okay and then yeah see now we have to compare id of first employee with second employee if id of first employee is greater than that of id of second employee both id of first employee is 102 and id of second employee is 100 then that second employee we have to display first okay so here see we have to use if control statement from where we will get id from uh, in which location we store id your pi dot id okay so here see how to write e of R dot id is greater than e of i not i this time j dot id if this condition is true if when this condition is true at that time uh, its meaning is what R means initially zero, zero less than three program from inside. So J J will become what zero plus one one. 
when control will come here on this line at that time i is 0 and j is 1 so uh, 0th employee id will be compared with 1st employee id okay so if 0th employee id is less is greater than 1st employee id then 0th index employee ka id 1st index employee ka id peksha jor motha se if 0th index employee id is greater than the first employee index id then first employee index id we have to store in 0th employee index id and 0th employee index id we have to store in first employee index id so we have to swap so while swapping we have to swap id as well as name as well as salary so see here so for swapping we have to use third variable so id uh, for swapping id three parameters actually we have to swap so three term uh, temporary variable will require so suppose temporary id then uh, we have to swap name of the employee as well for storing name we will require character array so that character array we will define here character array temporary name ok and salary for storing temporary, temporary salary we will define ts variable ok now see here how to write this code of sorting structure ok so if this condition is true this condition is true then e of j we have to store in e of i and e of i we have to store in e of j considering the id so if this condition is true then see how to write code first of all we will uh, swap id swap id okay, how to write for, for id temporary variable we define tid okay so tid is equal to e of i dot id okay then e of i dot id will become empty so e of i dot id will become empty so in that we have to store e of j dot id and finally e of j dot id will become empty so in that we have to store tid Okay, so here we swap what here we swap id so similarly we have to swap salary and name as well so here we will first swap salary ok so swap salary so for storing salary temporary salary we define ts variable over here ok so ts is equal to we have to write e of i dot s ok then e of i dot s will become empty so e of i dot s is equal to is equal to e of j dot s and finally e of j dot s is equal to ts ok and now similarly we have to swap name as well name so here swap name of employee okay, now in this case so for storing temporary name then we define character array ok so this is a string so if we want to store string then actually uh, it's not like integer variable here yeah, id and salary are integer but name is a character array so for that here we have to use uh, string copy function so if this condition is true then here str cpy for storing temporary name which array we define here that is tnm array tnm Okay, so if this condition is true then str cpy for str cpy initially we have to store destination that is a temporary name 
you store what e of i dot for storing name uh, for storing name e n is the variable that we have written okay so in this case here we have to write e n okay then again str pty now in e of i e n we have to store e of j dot e n and finally str pty in e of j dot e n we have to store p n m now finally i am closing e then here i am closing inner for and then closing outer for ok so see here uh, here we use str cpy that is inbuilt function the definition is stored in string.h header file so we have to include string.h header file as well so once again go through program here we define a structure employee with three parameters then using this for loop we are storing values in structure then according to question we have to sort structure so how to sort just like sorting array here we have to use nested for okay and then according to id we have to sort so your of r dot id is greater than your j of j dot id here we swap all parameters here there is a difference in a sorting array and in sorting structure in sorting array just only one uh, number is uh, there but in uh, sorting structure uh, whatever parameter that they have given all those parameters we have to sort ok so three parameters here given so if id of zeroth index employee is greater than id of first index employee then id of first index employee will store in zero similarly in salary of first index employee will store in zero similarly name of uh, that first employee will store it in zero so why here we use str cpy because uh, we just cannot copy name because for storing name we define array so name means that that will become of type string so if we want to uh, store one string into another then we have to use str cpy function so here directly id and salary are of type integer that's why this type of code is possible but name is not integer it is a cell uh, it is a of type string so if it is of type string we have to use this string function so what is purpose of this nested for this nested for will sort structure sort structure according to id now after sorting structure we have to display structure after sorting so for display we have to use again for loop now this time simple for i is equal to 0 i less than uh, 3 because we are dealing with 3 employees and then i plus plus ok now what are the details that we have to display first of all id we have to display ok so id of send the employee is actually id we have to display so percent again so two variables first variable will take it from i plus one and second will be from id so here id for scoring id we use e of i dot id display for sorting here we have to display so for display here we uh, mention for uh, this is a normal for initially we have to display id 
okay so this is how we can display id then now we have to display name printer so here name of person b employee is actual name we have to display so percentage slash n so first value we will take it from r plus 1 and second uh, we have to display name so the name is stored here i dot en and finally we have to display salary so print here salary of percent employee is so salary we have to display so salary is of type integer so here give slash n first person d again we'll take it from i plus 1 and second we'll take it from actual uh, salary we have to display so salary is stored in e of i dot s okay close this and then finally get ch and close mail let us go through this program once again so here we define employee structure with three parameters then what is the purpose of uh, this for uh, this for is using this for we stored what uh, name id and salary okay so uh, while storing details we will uh, store details in random order of their id and then what is the use of this nested for using this nested for we sort structure according to id and finally using this for we this we have to display details of all the structure so see this for will display details uh, after sorting so let us compile this program zero error now execute now see what it is asking enter name of first employee so it is amit then id of first employee okay so suppose now id of the amit is 106 and salary of uh, amit that is suppose 6000 so initially i am uh, going to enter the employee with the id 106 Okay. then uh, now name of second employee suppose amul okay. now id of amul suppose id of amul is 112 and salary is suppose 11000 and finally we have to uh, enter details of third employee so yeah. suppose name of third employee is manoj then id now see here id of uh, Amit I have entered as 106, Amul as uh, 112, now I am going to enter ID of Manoj as I suppose 104 okay, and salary of Manoj is 4000 okay now see the what it is going to display ID of first employee is 104 so actually uh, the details of uh, 104 ID we enter at the last okay if we go through all the ids initially for amit we have given id as 106 then for amul we have given id as 112 and then for manoj we have given id as 104 but while display it has sort all the details and after sorting it has display given details so this is all about this program so let's